so here the fact that we can just sit for a few seconds and listen to the breeze and watch the windmills and the birds you know, it's probably the most relaxing moment of my entire day today Now we're in a neighborhood on a road that's just a few minutes away from our central Propertia Barawa office. And Barawa is an amazing location. It's incredibly popular, close to the beaches, close to restaurants. This is a place that if you're buying a villa to live in in Bali and make it your home. And it may be hard to see from right behind me here, but uh, the view from not the second, but even the third story of this incredibly luxurious villa that we're about to step into makes you know that you're into something real special. So as usual, one of my favorite things to do is the villa entrance reveal because you never really know what you're getting into and 80% of the time you open it up and you go, wow, like this place is amazing. And this has that same effect. This villa is four bedrooms, 447 square meters, sits on five aura of land, which is a really good size of property and has a leasehold contract of 23 years for 850,000 USD. And when I walked in, Eric behind the camera was like, dude, wait, <laughs> wait till you go upstairs. <laughs> this place really kicks it up a notch. It's, 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 whole, it's in a whole class of its own as far as design elements, just the space that you get. And then follow me around with this camera and look at this insane garden because we've got hanging gardens all around that almost act as you know, privacy tapestries between the bedrooms and the outside. Uh, but there's just vegetation and plants and trees and flowers everywhere. No matter if you're out here in the main garden or if you go inside, you're gonna see how the garden has really been incorporated in the rooms and spaces. But the real question is, Where'd the flamingo go? Because literally two minutes ago, there's a giant pink flamingo that I do plan on jumping on today because it is hot outside and I got to take this flamingo for a test ride. So flamingo. <laughs> yeah, hard to hide this at all. There's a massive pineapple back here too. All right, get out of here, buddy. Better. The price just went up a thousand bucks. That's, that's high value right there. <laughs> All right, now that we're properly set up for success, uh, let's talk about the layout. So clearly downstairs we have the garden, gazebo, sitting area, barbecue area behind there, day beds, hammock, love it. We also have to the side an exclusive ping pong area as it's designated now. It's, it's, it's a carport, but I love that they have a ping pong table. And that's not the first of the recreational uh, amenities here. We also have a whole rec area upstairs, pool table, lounge, you know, a place to view a bar, but then we've even got a third tier to this villa that has one of the most amazing views. So yeah, three bedrooms downstairs and then the primary one upstairs. Let's go ahead and start with what we see first though, which is the living area. So something you'll notice about this, and this is why I love really high-end skilled design and a good use of quality materials is that it kind of blends the lines between being inside and outside. And the most timeless design uses natural materials, you know, that fit, that just kind of look like they belong. And that's, you know, having between the garden and the stone outside and the wooden slats and stuff that carries into the interior design as well, where we've got wooden slats on the ceilings, we've got the natural wood use in uh, the fixtures and fittings, high quality, you know, granite, stone, you know, between the stone exposed brick, which we just have only seen a couple of times. And I really love to see that, you know, it gives that this industrial type feel, but then we also have a nice cozy and warm and soft feel between all the wood use and, uh, and the stone use as well. And especially 
uh, with the modern lighting. So it's this contemporary feel, but yet timeless. I always like the sunken seating areas. People have different opinions on them. What I like about them is that it just opens up the space a ton, and that's what it's all about, is just having that sense of luxury and extra space. It's also highly functional. We see that we've got power outlets all around. So whomever built this villa was thinking about, you know, somebody actually sitting, using laptops, you know, making it really, really functional. Something there. Let's take this home. No. <laughs> In the kitchen, when I walk in here, I feel like I'm walking into what's about to be some sort of cooking show. You know, everything's perfectly placed. Uh, there's a lot of space. And look at all this countertop room. I mean, there's just so much room to do whatever you want. Prepare as much food as you want. Have a ton of guests because you are going to get guests here. And this space really caters to it. And also considering guests, we have the guest powder room. And then we've got bedroom number one, as I'll just call it now, right in here. So coming in to the first bedroom, the ceilings are still just as high as they were in the rest of the space. So I like that there's just a lot of volume in this room. There is glass surrounding us with garden as well. So we are always connected with the outdoors and have that uh, you know, sense of the outdoors brought in through that. So it's got its own feel and design concept, but it still fits perfect with what we just walked into from the kitchen. I know I'm gonna walk into the bathroom and there's something that's just gonna be different that I'm gonna say, okay, like <laughs> this, is, this is great. And sure enough, it's like, set up nicely and then it just keeps wrapping around <laughs> so the showers out here we still have some exposed you know it goes to the outdoors but we're still covered uh, by a roof so we can shower in the rain without actually getting wet by the rain but then the garden just continues through so the sense of space just keeps flowing through so you know you come out and you just it's this wow factor and coming out, I think I mentioned it in the beginning of the video, but having these hanging gardens, uh, yeah, acts as this natural shade feature and this kind of privacy partition that, you know, you sit here and it just feels quiet and private and comfortable. And it's, uh, we get a breeze coming through and, and shade provided by these hanging gardens. Just uh, really never been in a space like this. So let's check out these other two downstairs bedrooms. They are pretty much the same layout, but just uh, mirrored. So we see this dramatic effect where we've got you know, the lighting that comes up through the garden on the side. And then this window, you know, this desk and sitting space looks out to what's usually filled, uh, a water feature that goes through. So uh, we're just, we're surrounded by so much garden and it's an ex this exotic feeling to it. I like the soft lighting in the wardrobe and dressing area. And then you walk in and again, I'm walking into another like magazine, basically. It's like, look at this. And, and I like that it's different than the other bedrooms. So everything's unique. We've got garden on either side, open air, but yet it's covered and protected. Open air, the shower, big bathtub, just like, come on, man. So let's take a peek at the third bedroom. Again, it's gonna be, the layout's gonna be the same as that, but just inversed. But I just wanna check on the bathroom and see if there's anything, if there's anything that's different, which it is. It's a completely different layout. The same great, amazing feel by the space, uh, but a different layout, uh, different features. This is a little smaller than the other one, but still opens up to the garden. You know, sit there, have a bath, you're not gonna be too mad about where you're doing it. But to really see the good stuff, we gotta kick it up a level. So the second level, we've got the primary bedroom and basically a huge rec area. And uh, what I like about this, it's a whole different feel than it was downstairs because we've got this, you know, the vaulted roof with the along-along, the, the thatch, and uh, 
I almost, I don't feel like I'm in a residential villa. I feel like I've kind of stepped into a commercial venue almost, uh, which is so much space. Cause yeah, this, this really takes it up a notch. So first of all, rice paddy view, <laughs> pretty much panoramic. Uh, we have this huge deck. It's like, uh, I'm in the bedroom, but I'm immediately drawn to just kind of walk out on the porch. So let's just go ahead and do that because we see right here the traced outline uh, in the mist a bit of Mount Agung. So we have a full volcano view, panoramic rice paddy view, and you can almost see the ocean from here. We do have another level to go up, but uh, let's not ignore the elephant in the room, which is the jacuzzi hot tub on the deck, which is just great. So bedroom, a little more space than the others, certainly. Big views. I really like this. The bathtub, just, just right in it. I just love it when stuff like this is incorporated because again, it kind of blurs the lines between indoors and outdoors. We've got the loose pebble and then you can just kind of sit here in your bathtub and look outside at your volcano view and rice paddy view in your bedroom. So this is uh, one of the better places you could probably play a game of pool ever. <laughs> <laughs> the view's great, the lighting's great, the space is great. Uh, it's a proper size pool table too, I really appreciate that. I'm gonna do one shot. If I hit a bullseye, I'm gonna take the PlayStation downstairs, right? It's all good? Shit. Almost. And last but not least, we have the third level rooftop deck. I like it too, the, the roof's different as well. You know, it's a different style, a different, uh, different model and design. So now that we're up a little higher, full volcano view, really, 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 really panoramic rice paddy view. We've got an extension that you can see over here. And we can see a strip of the ocean which counts as ocean view. So what I really like is that for sunrises and sunsets, this is probably one of the best places you could possibly be. Where we're at right now, it's, it's busy. You know, it's busy in Bra, it's crazy busy in Changu, but um, that's where everything's located. And so here, the fact that we can just sit for a few seconds and listen to the breeze and watch the windmills and the birds, you know, it's, probably the most relaxing moment of my entire day today. This is also a huge pool. I mean, this is really, really good size. This is obviously a, a place you're gonna be entertaining with. And so since it's hot today, I'm gonna test it out, make sure the water's real and see how buoyant this flamingo is. So it was my absolute pleasure to do a tour of this villa and uh, try and do my best to communicate uh, really exactly how high level it is. You know, villas like this represent the absolute best of what Bali has. And uh, so it's always a treat. Um, if you're interested or have any questions, we have a link below where you can contact us. We'll be happy to answer it and chat with you further. Uh, before you head out, like and subscribe, and I'll see you again.